is there something that you also find in context to company culture um, you know is there something which is like a sign to say that okay we're ready to embrace okrs when you actually start working with cxos or executive teams well you know it's funny that you asked that because we have a couple of policies at okrs training the first is we never work with a client until we've talked to the ceo because we have to know where the ceo stands when it comes to implementing okr because what we have discovered in terms of, of best practices is that the organizations that experience a lot of success with okr are the organizations where everybody knows this is being driven from the corner office on those c suite offices I meaning this is coming straight from the top the second thing is we want to make sure that there's clear messaging around why are we doing this at abc organization and why are we doing it now and the answer can't be you know because google's doing it and everything google does is sexy right there has to be very clear reasons why you're doing this and you got to be clearly focused on what are the pain points and how you're addressing the pain i'm actually working with a, a new client who provides a whole menu of services for senior citizens to retirement and it's entire communities it's like a resort it's fascinating business model but guess what covid-19 changed the way that seniors are thinking about retirement and they're now no longer as interested in retirement communities because they want to stay hunkered at home they feel safer at home so their business model has been completely flipped upside down right so when they threaded their message why okr why now they spoke directly to that pain point that hey man the ecosystem out there has changed we have to change too if we're going to continue to thrive and that's what we're looking for so when you write your message that message needs to speak directly to the organization so that they can see themselves in it and it speaks to their pain and when you message it correctly that leadership storytelling your success rate in terms of adoption and stickiness of okr goes way up I agree with you on this and in fact in your a uh, certification program which is by the way the best i must say globally uh, okay. you speak about the cxo message um and and that's so important because as you rightly said you're talking to the pain of the organization and rallying different teams to actually support the cause of okrs